Yo, what's going on, everybody? Happy Monday morning. I hope you guys had a great weekend. We are back with more MLB The Show 24 content. It is time for the 10-minute mailbag. Longtime homies know exactly what the 10-minute mailbag is, but for all you newcomers, hello, howdy. My name is Kenny. The 10-minute mailbag is where we take questions every single Monday from the YouTube and the Discord, and we answer them in length to give you guys the MLB The Show answers you yearn for. So, if at any point during this video you think you'd like to ask something or comment on something that we're talking about, please leave it down below. Helps with the algorithm, but is also great to get yourself noticed, and maybe if you have a good question, we can answer it next week. Another way to do it, join the Discord, link is in the description. We have great conversations there all the time. This week's video, though, is heavy on the YouTube commenters. Shout out to the YouTube people. Let's go answer their questions. We have placed, as always, 10 minutes on the clock. You'll see it right up here in just a second. So we're going to answer as many questions as we can. I've got four of them queued up. Three questions and one comment, really, but a comment that's certainly worth talking about. It was not phrased in the form of a question, but I appreciated the comment, so we're going to talk about it. So in three, two, one, let's begin. Our first question today comes from Brax is Faulty. Brax is Faulty. I apologize if I said your username wrong. What would your opinion be on if SDS added managers, mascots, and home run celebrations for Diamond Dynasty. Without getting too much into it, the rest of his question basically insinuating that each of them would boost a different type of thing. So here's where I stand on boosts. This is going to be semi-controversial, maybe? I don't know. You guys can tell me. Uh, I don't like captains. I don't like having to be pigeonholed into using a card that maybe I don't like uh, just to get a boost that the community has probably rightfully defined as a meta boost. The problem with, with boosts and customization in that way is that it leads to meta. In a healthy gaming environment, there isn't one or two lanes, right? There isn't just one or two metas. There's a handful of semi-viable options that allow for some customization. And I think this year's Captain's largely are much better in terms of versatility than last year's captains. But I'm still... I don't know. Uh, something doesn't hit right with me with captains. I don't like just the way they, they, they make you pigeon... They, they pigeonhole you. I, I, I can only repeat it so many ways. So the manager thing is different. I don't know if I like the ideas of mascots or home run celebrations because that's just now more to code and more to potentially screw up. I think a lot of the problem that SDS sometimes has is they try to do so many things, but they can't fully devote the attention necessary to the one important thing. So they spread themselves too thin. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, next year, and I have no idea if this is true, it's probably not, but again, sake of argument. Let's just say captains are gone, right? And they introduce managers. A, the problem potentially with managers is the rights issues. Now, we don't actually have to have the manager's name and likeness. We could just be like, manager Billy Bob, and like just make names up. That's perfectly, that's perfectly fine. Otherwise, you've got to get the rights to 30 MLB managers and maybe legend managers, which would be cool, but very hard. But what if the manager boosts, and I think this is what you're more getting at, essentially did what captains do? You assign your manager... You build a team based on that manager's boost, but now you don't have to use a shit 95 or 93 overall in your lineup. Your manager is just there. He boosts your team. I like that idea. I think that's kind of neat. That's part of the problem with captains is I don't want to use 95 Jackson Cheerio. And I, I, I know I don't have to, so that's why I don't. But I don't want to have... If that's the meta boost... Jackson Cheerio isn't, isn't doing it for me. Like, the Corbin Carroll boost, the Cornerstone boost, is objectively, without any sort of question, the meta Hall of Fame and more so legend, mo mostly legend, the meta legend boost in ranked. Because he boosts the things that are most important. Contact, plate vision, and reaction in the field for people who might not have great defense. The problem with this card is that it stinks. And even with the own with the boost it gets on its own, it's still not great. Now, I know there's a workaround. You don't have to start them. I don't do that personally. I know it's within the game's limits. I'm not mad at you if you do it. I just don't do it myself. Maybe that's dumb of me. That's fine. Um, I just don't like how captains pigeonhole you. 
So, to get back to your original point, I kind of like the manager idea. I kind of dig it. It's going to be difficult, if not impossible, to get all their rights. I don't know how that would work. That's not my problem. We can make managers up, like I said. I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. So, thank you for your question. And we had another captain-related question here that I wanted to find before we... Here we go. From Mr. Extravagant, our homie Mr. Extravagant. What in the world do you think they're holding all the captain cards back for? So, <laughs> on Friday they released a new captain's pack that had a bunch of guys like the Verlander captain that does no-hitters and catchers who caught no-hitters. Um, Texans captain, ironically. Was Joe Nathan born in Texas? He went to college at Stony Brook on Long Island. I only know that because I'm from there. Joe Nathan. Quick, quick sidetrack. He's from Houston. Okay, interesting. Whatever. Joe Nathan, Jackson Cherio, Cedric Mullins. There's a couple of new captains, like six new captains. Jackie Robinson. Um, maybe it was five new captains. But we're talking about these guys. The team captains. You know, the cool ones that came out as soon as the game dropped and enabled you to do theme teams, but have since been made completely unavailable. Uh, I agree. SDS, where the hell are the captain packs? It's, I mean, honestly, where the hell are the captain packs? It makes next to no sense. You could say it makes no sense that these cards are not, A, easily available anywhere. Like, they should be in the show shop. If you're going to make... If, I, I don't want to spend stubs on these. I feel like you shouldn't have to, but they should be in the show shop. Or every single content drop that you do. Every single one. Team Affinity, Events, BR, everything should have one of these packs in it. It's ridiculous. What if I want to start ripping off theme teams because I'm bored? Guess what? I can't do it. At the very least, there should be a captain exchange like you've done for the cornerstones. But there's not for this, I guess, because it's a choice. I don't know. I, I don't know. Extravagant, I don't have an answer for you. I wish I did because it's also silly to me. It's very, very silly to me. The whole point of captains in its essence, if it worked correctly, was to do team-related theme teams. And if early in the game cycle, like me, you wanted to compete in ranked, so instead of taking the Yankees captains, I took Adalberto Montesi, I was screwed for a few weeks until I was able to get Mattingly. Or other, you know, hypothetical situations. I took a lot of relievers that I didn't care about just because they were good in ranked. Daniel Bard, Sir Anthony Dominguez, Joe Kelly. It's just silly. I, it doesn't, that one, I, I cannot fathom why these cards have not been dropped more. I, I can't fathom it. If there's an answer, let me know. If you guys have theories, let me know. I can't explain it. I can't fathom it. And it bothers me because they're just, they're just filler cards anyway. They should be free. They're supplemental. Just put them in the game somewhere. Extravagant thank you as always. Next up to this comment that I wanted to talk about. Uh, from Alex Tony, shout out Alex. I think a huge issue with the content is simply how they space it out. Every content drop takes me like one to two hours, and then I have to wait a week for anything worth playing again. I wanted to address this, not because Alex is wrong, because he's not, um, but I wanted to just spin it a different way. I am like Alex, where I can finish a content drop in an hour or two. I mean... Reasonably speaking, depending on what the content drop is. I think he was speaking more just hyperbolic, but I, I get what he's saying. Um, I think sometimes we all have to remember, and I talked about this with Kreiner on the podcast recently. I think people like MLB The Show players who live in the YouTube and Twitter and Twitch community and who talk about the game and who like in some ways, in some essences, like, live and breathe the game. Um, we take for granted that we understand fundamentally how things work. We understand efficient ways to do things. We understand this. We understand that. We are only, like, what, 10% of the game-playing population? That's just a guess. I don't know what it actually is, but it's not high. So there are people where when this content drop comes out, which I haven't finished, ironically... When season two, like every season two awards content drop, or just season awards content drop in general, might take people a week because they don't fundamentally understand the most efficient way to go about doing things. And I, I, I mean, it, it, in my opinion, it's really not that hard to figure out, but we can't take that for granted. So I think SDS does have some sort of 
it's not a problem, but there's like a weird relationship between the passionate people who love this game, who know how to do things and get things done quickly versus catering to the masses of the casual. And I don't say that in an offensive way, the casual player who doesn't necessarily understand the best way to do things. So uh, there is a disconnect. I don't know how to solve it, but I do think one exists. So Alex, I agree with you. I wish there was more stuff to do pretty much at all times as well, but just to shed light, I think on the other side of it, I think that's why some of these drops are made the way they are. So that's my thought. And again, I'm not arguing with you because I agree with you, but I just wanted to just wanted to bring that up. So thank you for your question or your comment rather. Uh, and our last one today comes from mostly baseball, not all baseball, mostly baseball. Do you think season three will have a typical power creep or will they release higher overalls faster or will they release 99s off the bat? Um, I, I want to say it's going to be option B. This is not confirmed. I haven't a clue, but I do think if they're smart, just uh, there, every time I talk about overalls, by the way, people complain, why do you want 99s? Why does everybody want 99s? They don't matter. The overalls don't matter. Listen to me. I don't care what the number in the top right corner says, but if we're at the point of the year where the masses are going to be excited about 99s, just give them to me. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. I do think because of that general consensus of like, ah, oh, I'm sick of playing with 90s, which again, whatever. I think they're going to drop fire off the bat. I think we're starting at 95. I don't see a world in which season three starts at anything less than 95s in Team Affinity. I'd be kind of surprised, actually. Um, and I think we'll get to 99s even faster. Like, notice how quick we got to 99s this season, and I like it. It's been nice. It's been escalated. It's It, it just makes sense. I think we're going to see more of that in season three. Dudes and dudettes, that will do it for this episode of the 10-Minute Mailbag. I hope you guys uh, appreciated the responses. I hope you guys found things you'd like to ask as well. Maybe comment on the discussion we had. Stay tuned this week for more content from the channel as well. A little bit of college football sprinkled on in there. But I appreciate you guys making it to the end. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.